Yes, your boy Biggs back again with the rundown. I'm gonna give you the rundown of the past week, see what's new, what's old, what story hasn't been told. You know how it goes. So yeah, man, let's get into this one. How's everyone's week been? Merry Christmas and all that to those who celebrate it, those who don't celebrate it. I guess it's just another day that you got off, if you got it off, if you're on the front line. Definitely boss a cracker and all them thing there. No racism. But yeah, man, hope you had a good breakfast. Whether it's a fry up, no bacon, no sausage, no pork on your fork. Um, whether you're from the Caribbean, you might have some ackee and salt fish. Get me some plantain, some dumplings. I right, talk to me properly, what else? I I don't know, you know, I've never spoken to anybody from Africa that's, that's told me what Africans would have for fucking Christmas. Yeah, whatever you have, man, enjoy it. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're getting some presents. I hope you're getting some alcohol. Yeah, I hope you had some presents. I hope you got alcohol to bust later. Hope you're ready for some extenders. I hope Home Alone's on at some point today. I don't even fucking know, like, I need to check my TV, guys. Big man thing. Somebody tell me what time Home Alone's on those stuff. Because I'm thinking it's going to be on all of 7, 8. When really, it's a Ute them film. And it's probably on before the Queen's speech in it. Like, fucking you know. hell. Shouts to the Queen as well. Get me. Don't know if I'll be watching that at 3 p.m. But All right, so let's wrap up the past week. Uh, The topic. All right, so the topic of today was going to be a couple things. Um... I was gonna speak about um, relationships, about about the roles being reversed. Um, man then becoming a little bit more feminine and women coming a bit more masculine. And then the other topic, <laughs> one of my brethren says, oh, speak about the importance of oral sex in relationship. And I was like, you know what? It might sound a bit far-fetched to some people, but it, to him, it was important. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what kind of relationship my brethren is. <laughs> Man must be in a fucked up relationship to say, I big, but I'm saying it in a nice way that I don't get my YouTube shut down. <laughs> but you know what? That is a topic to speak about, but I don't think I'm going to speak about it today. The thing that I want to speak about today is I spoke to a friend on Sunday yeah, and we was conversating about um, how good women prefer good dick over good men. Bruh. And I can see what you're saying. We're in 2020, going into 2021. You know, we know how shit's been happening, you know, like from OnlyFans, the way porn's made sex, like more of a, it's not really like a top shelf thing no more. We have to hide it and that. Like I remember <laughs> my, uh, my cousin Tastic could fucking <laughs> tell you this at a late date, but one time I got caught with a porno magazine. Yeah, so we were speaking about, do women want good dick or good men? Now I come from like R&B in it. Um, so I kind of says, you know, I feel like women do want good dick, but I think if they had a choice, don't ask me stupid questions like, oh, what about a good man with a good dick? No, I'm just, we're splitting it down the middle. So half is over here. So if you got good dick, you have to be a crosses, man. If you're a good man, I'm not talking about next man's body, but it is what it is. So those are the two things that get me. That's the topic of today. Do women prefer good dick over good men? I was obviously on the side of, nah. A good woman would obviously want a good man. Now, my virgin was like, no. Like, obviously, once you give them the good dick, yo, you got them, they can meet many good men, but pff, my man ain't got a chance in hell, bro. And I was like, nah, no fucking way. A real good woman, there's no way she's gonna say, take that body over that good man. Like, nah, I just couldn't see it happening. But, so that was all, that was always gonna be the topic of today. Once I heard that, I was like, what? I didn't even record it on my Snapchat. But I had a conversation with a virgin last night. So I had a conversation last night with my virgin and his missus and I said I brought that up to them because we was kind of talking on that subject already and he was saying the same thing that my other virgin was saying like nah you know what most women prefer good dick over good men I was like you know when you know when somebody says something and you're like really because the first time somebody says something to you you might not take it on board but you see if a second person says the exact same thing that's when you start thinking could it be me then am i living in this bubble then do i feel like it's it's more about the sex than than other things like the commitment and and, and the relationship and all them thing there and i'm like fuck it now that's a question that i wanted to speak about that's what i'm here for to hear what you lot think some might agree some might disagree but those that take good dick over good men i just thought 
Uh, I ain't you a bit of a hoe still? Like, if you want to take that, if you want to take good dick over good man, I ain't knocking your hustle, but I kind of think you're in your hole, but that's just what I'm saying. Like, there's nothing wrong with being a hoe. Like, shit, we need hoes. If the world ain't got no hoes, I'm telling you right now, what the fuck? I'm trying to say that respectfully. But on the other hand, I'm thinking a good woman must want more than just good dick because how long can good dick last? As much as I still think it's like, it's there's, there's truth in there, obviously. I just feel like there's no way the majority, I feel like that mentality is more like a westernized like England and America sort of thing where it's like sometimes sex is just seen. I'm thinking for man them, we used to flip that now. Yeah, if I said to a man now, yo fam, do you prefer a good woman or you prefer a fat pussy crosses girl, tight pussy though? Like I'm thinking, nah. If I said to a man, yo blood, do you prefer a woman that gives good head and suck the brown off and pussy lips that just grip up the body like police locking up an innocent black man? Or would you prefer a good girl? I still feel like, and I'm talking settling down, I feel like most men will be like, nah, just give me the good girl and it don't get me wrong. A side piece might be the, that little fat pussy type pussy thing, but I feel like on our overall, I feel like nah. There's, there's no way man are choosing this this crosses gal, this OnlyFans gal. You get me like all of that as well? I just feel like it's mad. I don't know. You like tell me what go on, what do you like think it is? Alright, what else has been happening in the past week? Lady Leisha had a sent a diss track out to Ivoran Doll called DIV. Check out my reaction video if you ain't seen that already, that's on the channel. Yeah, that was a bit mad still. Like I seen it and I was like, oh, but I didn't know how it started in it. But somebody left a comment to explain like yo check out this video to see where it started and it's like basically started from last year um, early last year I think it was January where Leisha made a video called made a song called Horrid No essay my flows are always hot like LA Rolling in the pool chat and essay I'll come through like Renee it'll be stress too much headache taking off wigs it'll get messy coming to cribs knocking down tellies yeah I get spun like ballet I'll be like I'm Renee with the bars So Miss R Fabulous and Ivorin though had some sort of beef and Leisha put, I think there was an altercation where Miss R Fabulous pulled up on, um, <laughs> on Ivorian Doll and was calling out a name, a government name, Vanessa! So Leisha put that in a tune, in like in a bar. Snapchat, and you want to run your mouth and you want to tell you, oh, pull up, I'm at so-and-so, I'm at so-and-so. My, my Uber okay. arrives at 3.13, bitch. Buck me outside. Okay. If you are on it, Vanessa, you will wait outside, babe. You will not go home tonight had Miss R Fabulous in the video and she said it a couple of times so I feel like that's made Ivorandal obviously pay attention like no essay my flows are always hot like LA no lady pulls out an essay I'll come through like Renee it'll be stress too much headache taking off wigs it'll get messy coming to cribs knocking down tellies yeah I get spun like ballet I'll be like I'm Renee with the bars raw like why are you getting involved for like obviously that's your brethren Miss R Fabulous but Ivorandal must be thinking nah bro you ain't gotta get involved but it's like for man them, it's like if Chip's got a brethren and he sends for you, what do you do? Like it's Chipmunk, you don't want to beef Chipmunk, but at the same time, why is Chipmunk like saying your name? So he's like, raw, you have to say something. Obviously, Ivorandar took like a clean year and a half. So when Leisha in a diss track says it's been a year and nine months. Literally has been a year and nine months for Ivor and Dart to, to reply back. But I think she used it at a good time on a daily loppy. Like, there's not a bigger platform than a daily loppy. So, boy, I just feel like, oh, it's long for it's, it's long for Ivor and Dart. It's been what, over a week now, and she ain't replied. And I said to my bread, you know, I says, last week was her birthday week, and Leisha had no respect because she dropped the video on her birthday, on Ivor and Dart's birthday. So, that's disrespectful. Bruh. Then this weekend is the Christmas weekend and Moxon and obviously the bank holiday. So I'm like, she ain't gonna reply. Like if she does reply, she's not gonna reply anytime soon. She's gonna reply like not in a diss track fashion. She's gonna do it on a normal tune. So that was a bit of a madness, but yeah, we'll see what happens in that one. What else has been happening in the past week? Europe seems to be closing their doors on the UK and that for the Brexit thing, fuck you know. I don't really know much about it, but from what I seen um, in the middle of the week, it was trending on Twitter, and they were saying like the, the the trucks, the freight trucks that that obviously go to different countries and pick up this goods and drop off that goods. Yo, it's not happening no more. Like Europe's thinking, hold on, you men thought you were big and bad in there, but now you men want to be by yourself, but you still want to be on a beggy beggy thing. Europe's like, go along about your blood clot business. Europe's like, nah, 
Nah, UK. Nah, you wanna fend for yourself? Fuck that. The road is gonna make you realize you need me. You know that that um Ed Sheeran, you need me, man. I don't need you. You need me. cause England, we don't fucking grow shit, bruv. The only thing that grows in England is fucking Stardog. Like what else grows on these English streets? I don't fucking know. So that's been happening. I seen um Sainsbury's talk about uh there may be a shortage of food supplies because of this thing with the UK and they can't get this food and they can't get this imported. What? Sainsbury's, that the foolishness. Like, say that your shop, yeah, is gonna run low on supplies. Don't say the fucking UK is gonna run low on supplies. It's gonna take a long time for every piece of food in this country to a blood clot done. I feel like in 2021, I feel like prices are gonna go up for a lot of things just because of the, the importing. Like, I feel like, I don't know, like, say for Caribbean people and African people, say like we eat foods that you can't get from like a, a local supermarket. So say foods like yam, uh, green banana, them things there that we eat. Um, I feel like that's gonna be super pricey. Like it's already priced as it is. Like when you go to Bossman shop, Bossman, how much for this yam? £48.50. Oh, you know what, Bossman? I ain't even that hungry no more. Um, can I just get a packet of noodles, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, say boss, car boy, so it's gonna be peak, bro. What? What? 2021? I'm telling you right now. We all want it to be a good year. Everyone's like, yo, can't wait for 2021. 2021 is gonna come with its own crosses, but obviously peace and prosperity all the time, every time. Yeah? Alright. Um also speaking of Europe, they might speak about London being in tier four this week for Christmas and that. Like, fuck you now. I wouldn't say my heart goes out to them, but let's be honest, the whole of this year and last year, I've just felt like, I've just felt like there's been bare corn in that at our accents. I don't really hear a fucked up accent, whether you're white, black, Indian, Chinese. Like, I don't really see the majority speaking a bit mad. Like, I can understand, like, you know, like couple chavs and that. Like, chavs have obviously got their, their, oh, I'm yeah. Like, hey, bruh, bruh, English, yeah? I'm a Scrabble genius. Get to know, like, when it comes to the Scrabble team, only person beating me is somebody that's been incarcerated. I played my dad one time at Scrabble. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I thought, yeah, blood. I'm the man, bro. If you get me, I pass, pass my GCSE English thinking it was fucking A-levels or got a master's or PhD or something. My mum just spun these fucking tiles differently and I'm like, oh, you know what, blood? It wasn't my dad. I punch you up, blood. God, this is some dickhead thing. Like, how's my man just throwing down these mad tiles? Because if you know Scrabble, if you use all seven tiles, tiles is basically the little square piece that you use. My mum's using like all seven tiles and if you ever do that, that's automatically 50 points on top. What? And then you know when men know how to use like the triple words or Double word. Oh, fuck off, bro. Like, if you play Scrabble, do not play with somebody who's incarcerated. Well, now it's a bit different because now fucking jail's a bit different and now they got phones and all them games and that. So I doubt it much of the much of them are reading. But if you if you if it's a big man over forty and he's been in jail since before the boring was open, big man don't play Scrabble with him. Don't play Scrabble with him. It's not worth it, bro. It's not worth it. Uh, what else has been happening this week? On the twenty first of December, I think it was the twenty first of December still that. There was supposed to be some alignment between Jupiter and Saturn and black Twitter got me fucking gassed thinking man is supposed to get some superpowers? What? What? Like real and truly I seen it and I was like this what you are make your mouth this? So I'm thinking nah it can't be real but I'm seeing some of the people that I know really talk this shit like like obviously it was a lot of gallon but gallon not into energies and crystals and stones and all that they're really talking this thing like it's the real thing so I'm thinking raw and you know what I'm thinking to myself here that night I couldn't sleep so I'm up till I'm up until like 3 anyway I don't feel anything different but I probably I didn't look, I didn't look out the window to see like oh right is that Jupiter hey, is that Saturn in that like the only Saturn I ever know is fucking the cars that Moesha's dad sold, you get me? So I was like, I don't know. Bruh. I was sitting there thinking, I'm in, I'm in the bed obviously, just scrolling, just like, this is some dickhead, this can't be real. So I thought, but there's so much black people that were talking powers, people talking like telekinesis, being invisible. I seen one girl had fire in her palm. I was like, hold on a minute, what is going on here? Yeah? Like, this is mad, this is mad, this is mad, this is mad, this is mad. And I'm like, can this be real blood? So the next day I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck that. Yeah, if man's got powers, yeah? If man are really on this thing, blood. If it's real Wakanda forever. I'm thinking, fuck that. You see the next day, blood. I'm gonna message my crush, yeah? I'm gonna message her and just put it on her like a fucking jumper. Rude boy, that's the worst thing man could have done. Bruh. The what I blood. I said, bro, I can't take it. Blood. The disrespect that man received, blood. 
Yo fam, I'm talking about read my messages and didn't even reply. Blood, I can speak to my crush anytime and I guarantee she replies. I put it on her like a sweater. I put it on her like a jumpsuit. Rude boy, she did not reply. Bruh. The pain that I felt when I woke up, yeah? Cause I'm thinking I'll message her late at night, but not like, no. Not on pervy and that, you get me? But I said what I said and I said it with chest, you get me? Fuck all that, cry two tears in a bucket, fuck it, get me? Blood, I woke up the next day, I, all I heard was, all I heard was Jody and T2, all I heard was heartbroken, but I, uh, 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 I was like, oh, you know when you're like Keenan and Cat, oh, here it goes, because I felt, oh, you know when you're just, you're just sinking, you're sinking, like, oh, I was like, oh, blood, what the fuck are you doing, bro? You get me like, why did I let these these black people gas me up, bro? I was thought, you know what? I wanted to turn, I wanted to turn up my phone. I right, wanted to turn up my phone. I thought, fuck that. No one's getting hold of me for at least forty eight hours. Yeah, like that's the last time I'm gonna let black women gas me up, bro. Black Twitter, yeah, you cross his blood. And I should have known because some of the retweets from the man then was like, is this real? Is this real? Like, man, I'm like, huh, 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 huh? And I'm like, nah, bro, this has got to be real, bro, because there's no way all these black queens, these empresses are raw, are raw just chatting shit, bro, but there was raw chatting shit, bro. Anyone that told you, yeah, this week, the Christmas week, had new powers, fuck off, no, you didn't, bro. No, you didn't, I ain't seen no one bang out the lottery. Stop the foolishness, man. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. I ain't seen nobody say fucking they just got a business venture that just got fucking 20 mil or certain. Like, no, unless ZZ Mill verify shit. I'm not listening to Black Twitter no more. Um, speaking of black people, Lewis Hamilton won sports personality of the year. I don't really watch F1. Um, so I don't really know much about Formula One to be honest. But shouts out to Lewis Hamilton. I know he broke. Was Michael Schumacher's record like recently? You get me for winning like the most trophies and that. Like that brother's cold still. That brother's cold, cold, cold. I like Lewis Hamilton still. Swear down, him as a getaway driver. I'm surprised he's never been in a film. How has what are we on? Fast and Furious Nine. Fast and Furious Ten is coming out next summer, innit? Why has Lewis Hamilton never got a call up, bruv? Yeah, man. Shouts out to fucking Lewis Hamilton. Uh, since we're speaking of sports, I want to give a shout out to my guy Shaq and Peters, man. A uh, light heavyweight champion. Yeah, the British light heavyweight champion. Bro, I swear down, he lost that fight uh, last Friday. Bro, you know when something just knocks the wind out of you? He got hit, he got knocked down in the fourth round. And I swear, I was like, whoa! I'm an Anthony Joshua supporter, innit? So when he got knocked down against Klitschko, Wembley, in the fifth round, I was like, Rah. I think that was the first time we went down. I was like, Rah. what's going on here? And it was mad because he just knocked Klitschko down the round before. But when Anthony Joshua got knocked down by Andy Ruiz in New York, June 2019, bro, I was like, yo, that was a heavy punch, bro. And when Shaq went down, I was like, oh, fuck. You get me? Like, I didn't know the Richards, uh, the boxer who was fighting. Um, but I heard Shaq have a couple of talks and I thought, okay, Shaq sounds super confident. As you do as a boxer, you're obviously you're confident, but... Shaq sounded like, okay, this guy ain't, not that he's not a good boxer, but this guy's probably not like the world level that he's chasing at the moment. After I think that was Shaq's 14th fight. Oh man, I felt it, man. Like, I think sometimes like when you support a boxer or athlete and something goes wrong, you kind of can blame it on something like, say if you went to points, I ain't fucking judges, blood, fucking dickhead, blood. Oh, you can't see what's going on. I think when you get knocked down, though, it's like, oh. I, I didn't have no one to blame, bruv. And I watch it, I usually watch most fights by myself. So I was by myself watching it and I was just pissed, man. And I thought, you know what? I wish I was around the man them to watch it because it would have been like, I swear, I'm just sitting there for about five minutes after the fight, like, bro, Shaq's first loss and losing the British light heavyweight champion belt. I was like, oh. And I was saying to myself, you know what though? Shaq looked like he was right out boxing, my man. But I felt like if he went to points, even though he got knocked down in the fourth, I thought like, yeah, he could still do some points still. I felt like Shaq was a better boxer, but my man was just like, he's kind of heavy handed with the blows. So I was like, raw, gotta put some respect on this um, Richard Jute's name. I really hope there's a rematch because he's still a bad boy boxer. I don't give a fuck what no one says, yeah? Get that British fucking light heavyweight title back. What else, what else am I missing? New music, new music that I'm listening Listening to is King King Von featuring Fivio Foreign. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, King Von is a rapper. Didn't he pass away? Um, King Von passed away recently. I feel like within like the last two three months. 
Um, but I seen it on Power on the last episode. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. But on episode eight, his song came on called I Am What I Am. And I was like, yo, this tune is a slapper now. Because I don't really listen to American music. I'm not in touch with like who's hot or who's not hot at the moment. But yeah, that King Von featuring Fivio Foreign. Yeah, man, check that one out. I Am What I Am. What have I been watching? Uh, Power, yeah man, I'm on episode 8 of Power, hopefully everybody else is by the time this drops Um, I don't know man, I felt like episode 8, I rather, I rather got into it bro Like I'm thinking like, that was the hardest episode of this season And I know some people are like, oh we don't like it because certain characters are still in there and it still feels like the normal Power But I don't know man, I think I like this aspect of Tariq going to uni, you get me? Because it shows a different aspect and yo, my man's life is kind of hard still It's just like, fucking hell man, this nigga don't ever get no breaks Really and truly, like, being a drug dealer's fucking long. Like, we've seen it with Ghost for, like, six seasons. Like, bro, is it even worth selling drugs, bro? You might as well just fucking work in Tesco's, mate. Stack some fucking shells, because this is hella long. Like, yo. But he found, he got two baddies on him, though, ain't he? Well, technically, he's got three, in it? Because Mary J. Blige's, Mary, Mary J. Blige's little daughter as well, she's, she's on my man. So he's got Mary J. Blige's daughter. He's got the thing that he goes uni with. Um, and then he's got the thing that he sells the drugs with, like, the, the coke. And I'm like, yo, out of the three of them, yeah, look. He's got three bad bitches there, you know. You know, I shouldn't say bitch because they're young. He's got three bad girl on him, you know. Three baddies. I'm thinking, yo, Terry. Hey, I, 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 I'm just trying to think. Which one? Which one would I, if I was young? Which one? I, I, you know, I'm not going to get into that. Get, after what happened with certain rappers recently. I'm not even going to comment. I'll just keep my shit. I'm going to keep my shit to myself, you get me? I'm not trying to. Locked up, the phone let me out. Like, no, um, but yeah, shout out to Tariq. Um, you know who's the baddest in, in power, though? The fucking teacher, bro. What's her name? Carrie. Yeah, oi, is, is the uni teacher Carrie Milgram. Oi, blood. Good food, fam. Good food. The, the fucking pussy old of a boyfriend that she's got, an ex boyfriend that she's got. My man in this last last episode, I hate brothers like that. You that just can't let the pussy go. Rude boy, move on, bro. And he's out here beating bare things. I swear he beat the fucking one of his uni students in his office and, and made her here and that. Mad thing. I love Mary J's character. Yeah. Speaking of TV series, yeah, Games of Thrones got a new show coming out in two years called House of Dragons. So that's obviously going to be about um, Daenerys and her family as a Targaryens. Um, her older brother's gonna be in there. Vis is it Viserys? How do you say his name? Viserys. I want to say his name Viserys. I don't know. His name V I S E R Y S. Viserys. Like he got some old ass school, old ass fucking Greek ass name. I, I don't know what it is. Viserys. But yeah, that's gonna be based on the House of Targaryens, and it's called the House of Dragon. So that should be raw good because her dad was obviously the um, what's he called? The Mad King. Yeah, it was called the Mad King. I think his name was Ares. Ares the Second Targaryen. Yeah, man. So that should be good. Like those who love um. Games of Thrones, can't wait for that shit. Starts recording, they start filming in 2021 next year. Then it comes out in 2022. Also, I definitely want to give a shout out to Chop Shop Podcast. Um, they had me back for the Christmas special. That should be out today as well. I don't know what time yet, but look out for that one. But yeah, man, have a good Christmas. We'll see you back next week. This has been The Rundown Show. Myself, Biggs, it's been episode three. Catch me back next week for episode four. Stay safe and stay rona free. Yeah? All right. Peace and prosperity always. Hear me? Me a forget a bomb for my Christmas. Just a little bomb for my Christmas. Yo, me a forget a bomb for my Christmas. Just a little pump for my Christmas girl First present no That's how you put no no nanny I feel that you know you put no nanny Me no want no Prada, no Armani Me want it, we are up in your put no nanny Hey, this Christmas for all the happy boss I don't lie baby girl it is a boss That this Christmas for all the happy boss I don't lie baby girl it is a boss But what for bossing on your belly for Christmas yeah. I make you know say my charge in a play Bossing on your belly for Christmas <laughs>